good afternoon from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, my name is Brandon Michael, and this is my giant sequoia unboxing video. I ordered it from sequoiatrees.com. Uh, it came in this cool tube uh, through the United States Postal Service. It's got all these things all over it about how it's been inspected uh, by the USDA in California and everything. Um, but this is a live tree, uh, uh, which has been in the mail for about two days, and I'm eager to get it out and into a pot. Oops, I already grabbed the inner bag there. So breaking through the tape. And then they always package these really good. I've ordered a few things from them. Okay, so it comes in this um, protective plastic with a rubber band and then the paper that you're seeing is instructions or rather our instructions on uh, how to plant trees and uh, oh wow so one side is planting trees one side is how to do bonsai but here I give you a little plant trees bumper sticker and I guess their business card um, but here is the giant sequoia sequoia dendron giganteum this is the largest uh, living thing on the planet. It's just tiny now, but it will grow into the largest things that have ever been on the planet, past or future. I get this little giant sequoia tag off here. the tree itself very gently very gently and these things are very compact in their little seed pod okay and there it is in the texas air and uh it's already putting out new shoots we're gonna go ahead and pot it up right now. This was a kind of scary moment. Uh, the dirt fell off the roots in the bag, but it doesn't look like any of that, any of the roots were taken. Um, so the roots are all still right here on the plant, it's still in its original soil here and this is a soil mixture i've prepared that's trying to be like the forest floor it has uh, a lot more peat moss so it will hold moisture but we've got peat moss sand uh, a regular a base potting mix and um then chicken poop pasteurized chicken poop for fertilizer so it's very easy to plant these uh -huh. I'm planning to do this for a bonsai, but it's gonna have to live in here for a couple of years. So I'm gonna measure my depth here, and then I'm just, I'm gonna create, just go this way, back and forth, and this way, back and forth. And now we should have a nice little hole there. And uh, I'm not afraid to get dirty, and you shouldn't be either. There's a worm right next to it, it's perfect earthworm now it just occurred to me that this dirt is a little short so I'm gonna let some more dirt fall back in there measure here and just make sure yeah that looks good so I want the roots to kind of go down a little deeper and then the shove underneath and hopefully Pull in this stuff from the sides, create some protection around it. Is that? Oh no, did one of its roots get taken up? Yeah, it did. Well, let's try this again. I want to get this right. Yeah, I see that root came out. So here, let's throw that back downwards. Just everything we're doing is just super gentle. And I wanted to make sure dirt got underneath it as well, so. 
the center mound here. That's what I'm making. And then I'm compacting the soil in towards the middle. Just like that. And uh, it's a little wilted right here, but you know, it's been in transport. I think it'll take very nicely. And then we'll top that off with nice watering. You can see it's handling the water really well. Some more roots got exposed here. And uh, yeah, I want to bonsai this tree, but first it's going to have to live in this big pot for several years and grow. And I'll train it as it grows. But then we'll have an example of the largest living thing on earth, past or present, in our garden. And you can see, even big things start small. So that is it in its new environment. And uh, thank you everyone who watched. And that's how you plant a giant redwood in your home garden.